been asking me recently, uh, because of all the quantum work that I do, transformational work, healing work, etc. What actually is quantum healing? What do you actually mean when you say quantum healing? So I thought I'd give a little bit of a technical description today to explain some of my insights and experiences and uh, my realizations and how I've been able to utilize those effectively to help people transform their lives, their healing uh, situation, etc. So the first thing I want to talk about is something called Planck's length. Now Planck's length is made, named after a, a physicist from the early part of the 20th century, a very successful and amazing physicist called Max Planck. And Planck's length is actually uh, a, a level of scale which is very, very small. When I say very, very small, I want to give you some kind of context. It's about 14 powers of 10 below the size of an atom. An atom, by the way, is about 22 powers of 10 below the size of a human being. And a human being is about 22 powers of 10 below the size of our sun. So if you can get some idea of the proportionality, Planck's length is a very, very tiny length. And what quantum physicists discover that something very unusual happens at Planck's length. What happens is when we need to, when scientists look at something very small, they need greater and greater amounts of energy the smaller something gets. And this is called inverse proportionality. Um, and normally what happens is, um, at this level of scale, most of you have heard of say the quantum law of attraction, our thoughts create our reality. Even if we're very good manifestors, when we think something, uh, the time lag from thinking it to actually it happening, generally there is some sort of a time lag, even if, even if we're very good. However, at Planck's length, the amount of energy that's required to locate that position in space-time is so vast that that juncture there is no time lag. The energy creates the result immediately. We actually transcend or time basically collapses at that point. Now this is kind of the gateway to the quantum level. And I found that very interesting because I created something in 2006 based on many years of research looking at quantum physics, looking at the way we work as light beings. Um, and I discovered that we can actually access the quantum level consciously. I personally find that we do that, personally believe we do that all the time anyway, unconsciously. When we choose to do something, we're collapsing one reality in favour of another. We're choosing from a sea of potentiality what to manifest. If we want to go to the bar and buy a beer, if we decide to go on a holiday instead of buying a computer, whatever we choose to do, we're choosing not to do something at the same time. At Planck's length, when we access the quantum world physically, which I'm going to explain how, how we do that, we can actually enter that state much more in the driving seat. And that's kind of the basis of my quantum power programming and also to some extent the quantum healing work that I do. How does that work? Well, what I discovered in 2006 is we can access the quantum world. We can't see it, that's for sure. We can't taste it. We can't smell it and we cannot hear it, but we can feel the quantum world. We can feel it by an act of what I call kinesthesia, okay, direct connection with our whole light body to what I describe as the operating system that sits below this world of manifestation or frequency. And when I teach people and show people and help people to consciously access that quantum state by feeling, it is possible to create a new reality. It is possible to collapse realities that are not really working for you. It may be a thought form, a belief system, it may be a tumour that you have, it may be some health issue, it may be a problem with relationships, something that's not working correctly in your environment. It's possible to collapse, dissolve, erase and negate those things and then emerge with a new reality. That in a sense is basically, in essence, is what my quantum work is really all about. It's about accessing the world which we could call Godhead, the mystical world of infinite potentiality, uh, or we can call it the quantum world. It's the same thing as far as I'm concerned, and it's the source, the root of our true power. 
If you're interested in any of the work that I do and would like to find out more, please check my website, simonhinton.com or lifetherapyrevolution.com.